So we've just thought we'd come up here and pick up our holdback, which is what you get as a grower. You can ask them to hold back a few, a few of your almonds so you can have something to eat and share with your friends and family. And we'll just have a bit of a look in here and see what we've got, if we're lucky. And um, some of the guys turn up, we might be able to have a bit of a quick look through the plant, which would be awesome. And so that'd be kind of cool. It's pretty, pretty full on. Let's see what we've got in here, see what sort of job we did. Oh, that looks tight. Oh, that lot. Mm -hmm. So that's where they come out of the cracking plant, and then they'll go over to the processing plant where they get packed. But, mm -mm -mm. that's all me hard work, that's a whole year's worth of excitement there. Well, not this little bit, this is just the extras, but. Mm -mm. Yum, yum, yum. I'm just, you know, this is pretty mind boggling for us guys growing up on an almond farm down Wollonga. We had a little processing plant on our own block. Yeah. Being a little kid, I'm there with a the shovel, shoveling the almonds into the jolly cracker machine. <laughs> so, I mean, that'll make you laugh, wouldn't it? Yeah. Look at this bucket over here. That's a bit more, that's a serious shovel. It's definitely a lot more uh, automated now, the <laughs> oh, whole process. Oh, Lord. And, uh, yeah, it's awesome. Anyway, here we are. We've jumped up here to the processing plant, the Bush Bee Man on the travel. Young Nick here is going to show us around. He's the marketing rep from, from Almond Co., which is pretty awesome. He's going to show us around the plant. And uh, I tell you what, this industry's really changed in the last 30 years that I've been around, or 50 years I've been around, but anyway, let's not, let's not get too complicated with my age. Good on you, Nick. Nice G'day. to see you, bud. Nice to meet you, <laughs> yeah, Mark. Cool, Nick. Let's go and check this shit out, eh? Absolutely. So this is how they come off the truck out of the orchard before they actually get to that processing plant that you're checking out in a minute. Obviously, when they come off the tree, they've got their little husk on still. If I can find one that actually is a husk. And then they have a shell bit. Which is, which is what they're trying to get off in here because this is this is really really cool for the cows to eat. I don't know. I reckon Nick reckons they're going to make some booze out of this skin, so I'm pretty cool with that. Hang on, there's nothing in that one. That's a bit wrong. <laughs> anyway, and then of course you crack it open, which is what that machine's doing in there, and you get yourself a little kernel, which is kind of groovy. Mm -mm. Wow, that's a couple of peanut brittle bras, isn't it? No, hang on, almond brittle bars. <laughs> Man, have a look at that. They're all, they're all full of kernels, I'm guessing. Yeah, all full yeah. of kernels. Wow, wait. Goodness me. Whew. Yep, so the scale okay. is uh, pretty incredible. Yeah, yeah, it's unreal, isn't it? Cool. Look at that. You can hear the rumble in the distance. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to put our earplugs in so we don't go deaf. <laughs> There's quite a few moving parts. So this is basically the start of the process. They drop them in here, either out of the trucks or out of this big front end loader that they got here, which is kind of groovy. They've got a big pit where they drop the armors in. And obviously they come out of the field covered in sticks and sand and a bit of rock and all sorts of carry on, which is a bit of a worry. You know, so well, they've got this awesome setup down here. They've got the augers in the bottom of this pit. And it goes up that elevator. And up the top of there, you've got a de-sander, a de-sticker, and a de-stoner. So that gets the initial crap out of the almonds, and then it goes across into the processing, where it takes off the holes, or the husks, and obviously the holes, and then it goes through the different size rollers. I think they're shear rollers, I think they're called. And they go through them, and then that basically cracks them in different stages for the different sizes that they want. And then ultimately they go through some more screens, and then you'll see them pop out the other end where they get sized kind of cool and obviously a bit of what are they called seeing eye machine is it yeah which is pretty amazing we've bloody come a long way from when i was a kid on the sorting belt i tell you that for free god <laughs> i tell you if i was still sorting arms by hand i don't think i'd be in this industry anymore that in a bloody almond boat damn <laughs> we could get i wish we could find a photo of an almond boat would you know what an almond boat is nick no he's, he's never even heard of that it was a pretty long trailer and it had these sheets you had to run in and out under the tree and we used to call it a, I don't know why we called it an almond boat, because it was long and awkward, wasn't bloody any good for anything else. <laughs> anyway, those were the day. And I had the, as a kid, you got two shitty jobs as a kid in the almond industry. You're either a sheep weight on a windy day, or you're the poor prick picking them up when they were the windfall with a bucket. So that was very dodgy. And anyway, I'm digressing yet again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
shelves. So these are the holes in the shelves I see here, Nick. And it looks to me as if you've got them separated out into two different quantities. You've got holes and shelves in different spots. Yep, yep. What are they, what are they, do they still sell that to the, to the dairy farmers? Yeah, I bet yeah. So that's, that's used as a, increasingly as a stock feed. So yep. in times of drought, when farmers need a, another sort of a, a feed option for their for their yep. cattle, yep. so increasingly yep. it's been used as that, as well as a, yep. like I mentioned before, yep. uh, a biomass as well, as, as far as a, a fuel generation. So, cool. yeah, the, the, yep. the plethora of uses for the, the hulls and shells are increasing yeah, right. all the time. Oh, no, yeah. well, that's pretty, pretty cool. So yeah. they're going to stick it in the, yeah, make some electricity. We can do that. That'd yeah. be awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I heard a rumor that they're thinking about making some alcohol out of it as well. Or yeah, something. well, uh, the, quali the, the qualities of, it, of the actual shell itself has some really good um, uh, properties so yeah. um, there's some trolls underway make, making a beverage out of the uh, the shells yeah. an alcoholic beverage so yeah. it's going to be like that what's that oh, they make an arm that's an arm one though isn't it they Afri something or other. Am Amaretto? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. That's more of a, yeah. a liqueur, yeah. I believe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and obviously they make it with the green almonds, so yeah. 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 I mean, there are yeah, cool. many, many, uh, options many options as far as the hull uh, and the shell. Yeah. And, Tell you what, and they, the get that, they get that worked out, they'll get me interested. Yeah. I, like it. I like a good drink. Yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned then. Yeah. Keep you in the loop. So once they've got them out of those little boxes, you sell them there in their half ton containers at the other shed. Obviously they load them on some trucks and they bring them here. And this is where they do the the final sorting. This is a hell. I reckon it was only that big a factory when I moved here 30 years ago, and now it's like filled up the whole lot. So I don't know what's going to go on when the, when the business expands a bit more. But anyway, I guess they just buy the neighbours. Who knows? Anyway, so obviously the truck heads through these doors, and inside there it's all very hygienic and very sealed. And so they, this is where they do another grading. The first part is they tip them through another grader. And then it goes through some more of those seeing eye machines that you saw, which is kind of cool. I think it even it goes on a hand sorting belt. It gets pasteurized, which makes it all nice and healthy. They also blanch them, roast them, and flavor them, and do all sorts of other cool stuff here. And obviously on sell them to other people to do that as well in different markets. And from here, once they get packaged, they go all around the world. And so it's pretty awesome. So my almonds could end up anywhere, a bit like my honey could end up anywhere. But that's, this is a lot bigger scale than my little honey market. <laughs> so I just thought it'd be cool to show you the next, the, like the last part of the process before it's sent off and packaged up. Obviously there's other plants around that do this, but I deal with the almond co, so yeah, this is where my almonds go, so this is where we're going. <laughs>